So you've been hearing all about these credit card points and how people are flying around the world for free just by using the right credit card. But you probably don't want to drop $800 on a fancy metal card just yet before giving all of this a try since you're just getting started. Lucky for you, there's tons of no fee credit cards out there that cost absolutely nothing, but many of these cards are going to be completely terrible for earning points and they're not going to get you on your way to amazing travel experiences at all. Chances are you might even be using one of these ripoff cards already, but don't worry because in today's video, Video, we'll be going over which one of these zero dollar no annual fee credit cards gives you the best return for you to pick up and get started the right way. Our team has narrowed down all of the no fee credit cards in Canada to just five that are literally giving away free points and frankly some of these cards probably should cost money but they don't and let's not give the banks any ideas and even if you're somebody who's already deep in the game and already has an expensive card it might still be worth picking up one of the no fee bonuses from one of these cards because hey after all they're free. Now before we get started, we should ask the question, why do the banks even offer free cards in the first place? The answer here is pretty simple. It's a way to get customers in the door for no initial fee, but they have you using their product, hopefully enjoying the product, and then the bank can upsell you to other stuff like checking accounts and loans and mortgages and some of their higher end cards that do have a fee that you may be interested in in the future. Now, of course, despite these credit cards having no annual fee, they'll still earn the bank's money when you spend on it. That's because banks make money through what's known as interchange fee, which is a fee that they charge the merchant every time you use your card to make a purchase. And of course, the banks earn even more money when people use the credit cards but fail to make the payments on time every month. And so they pay interest on these balances, which becomes even more profits into the bank's pockets. And so you might think of these no fee credit cards and the rewards that you earn on them as being funded by these other people out there who are paying interest on their credit card balances. Now, speaking of wins, how much rewards can you actually expect to get from no fee credit cards? Well, this is where I'd say to keep your expectations in check because these no fee cards are after all some of the lower tier cards in the Canadian market having no annual fee and all, so you can't expect them to be giving you the beefiest rewards out there because after all, these lower end cards are geared towards those with more limited spending and perhaps newer credit histories as well. However, there's still a respectable level of rewards that you can squeeze out of the five cards on this list that we're going to talk about, so make sure to stay tuned, especially for the number one best no fee card in Canada, which can actually get you some very special travel experiences if leveraged the right way. Now, the first no fee card that we're going to talk about is actually what we'd consider the second best no fee credit card in all of Canada. And that's the CIBC Aeroplan Visa card, this nice crisp white design and the only no fee option among the 11 Aeroplan co-branded credit cards issued by CIBC, TD and American Express. This is a great option if you're somebody who's new to Canada or new to building your credit history or you're a student or somebody with low spending but you still want a credit card that helps you earn Aeroplan points which are widely considered the most valuable points for unlocking special travel experiences in all of Canada. The card gives you 10,000 Aeroplan points as a welcome bonus simply by making your first purchase. So not only is there no annual fee, but there's also no minimum spend required to unlock this bonus. Just buy a pack of gum with the card and you'll get 10,000 Aeroplan points for your troubles. Now, in terms of the earning rates on this card, you'll get one Aeroplan point for every dollar spent with Air Canada and Air Canada Vacations, as well as gas and electric vehicle charging and grocery purchases. But for all other purchases, all the other things you buy, you'll get one Aeroplan point for every $1.50 that you spend. So the effective earning rate is 0.67 Aeroplan points for every dollar spent. Now, this isn't the best earning rate out there. In fact, it's pretty weak. But then again, this is a no fee card. It's the entry level option on the market. So if that's what you're looking for, then this card is definitely one that we'd recommend, especially for getting into the Aeroplan ecosystem. There's one more perk on this card that's worth paying attention to, and it's by holding this card, you'll actually unlock the preferred pricing discounts when redeeming Aeroplan points for Air Canada flights. This is a perk that you get for holding any Aeroplan credit card, including this no fee one. So just by being a card holder of this no fee card, you'll save a couple thousand points here and there every time you use your Aeroplan points to book Air Canada. Overall, this is the only no fee option if you want to get started in the Aeroplan ecosystem and work your way towards eventually flying in business class using the power of Aeroplan points. Great no fee card to get started. One of our top recommendations. Now, one thing you got to know about the welcome bonuses that we talk about in this video and on this channel overall is that they're always subject to change. Now, we always try to give you the most current offer as of the time of publishing the video. But if you want the most current offer as of the time you're watching this, check out the link in the description below to go to our website, which shows you the most current offer 
offer. And don't forget to apply for the cards through our website if you're interested. That helps to support the work we're doing here at Prince of Travel and the channel overall. Now let's talk about a no-fee card that's a little bit out of left field. It's the number five best no-fee card on our list, but you might be surprised that this is even a credit card and not something like a hammer or a hoe for your garden or a tent for your camping trip because this is the Canadian Tire Triangle World Elite MasterCard and yeah, it's a Canadian Tire product that you apply for from Canadian Tire Financial Services and it's got quite a lot of unique features packed into this grand total of zero dollars in annual fees. The card gives you access to the Canadian Tire Roadside Assistance Gold Plan which includes the following perks. Unlimited calls for 24 hours assistance, towing to the destination of your choice within 200 kilometers in Canada or the US, and services such as fuel delivery, flat tire changes, or jump starting your battery. So again, it's one of those cards where since there's no annual fee anyway, it might be worth picking up just in case you end up stuck on the side of the road. You'll have this gold plan of Canadian Tire Roadside Assistance to call upon. In addition, you'll also receive 4% cash back at Canadian Tire Stores and 3% cash back at grocery stores. So if you're somebody who likes to make use of the wonderful range of items at Canadian Tires and you spend a lot at the store, then this card might be an interesting fit to you. And lastly, there's one very interesting feature about the Canadian Tire World Elite MasterCard. That's the fact that CTFS, Canadian Tire Financial Services, has its own unique bill payment system. And if you're a card holder, you can actually make bill payments to say your municipal taxes or your property taxes through this bill payment system using your credit card and earning cash back on that payment. This is a perk only afforded to Canadian Tire card holders because no other bank's credit cards can use Canadian Tire Financial Services bill payment system to pay those bills. I mean, who knew that Canadian Tire even had a financial services side in the first place, but the fact that they do and that there is this very niche use case gives it a spot on this list of Canada's best no-fee cards. But if that actually doesn't sound very useful to you, then this next card might be a better fit. This is the Rogers World Elite MasterCard and it's number four on our list of best no-fee credit cards. Again, Rogers is a telephone company, right? Well, surprise, surprise, they also issue credit cards. I mean, credit cards are insanely profitable. Rogers being Rogers. Is it any surprise? The most premium offering by Rogers is its World Elite MasterCard, giving you a flat 1.5% cash back on all your purchases, including Costco, Walmart, Superstore purchases, or everything else that you buy day to day, like groceries, gas, and whatnot. 1.5% cash back on a no fee card is honestly pretty good. There's not a lot of other no fee cards in Canada that can stack up to that. And if you're somebody who just wants a card that'll give you that flat out 1.5%, something modest, it's not gonna blow your mind, but it's gonna give you that consistent cash back return, then this might just be the card for you. There's also a 3% cash back on US dollar purchases for those trips across the border. But honestly, this really just offsets against the foreign exchange fee that this card charges, and it doesn't actually give you a very impressive return at all. The Rogers Worldly MasterCard used to be very strong for having no FX fees, but they recently introduced them, so that's a bit of a moot point at this stage. And in addition, there's a whole range of insurance perks for your primary and secondary card holders, including emergency medical assistance, trip cancellation and trip interruption, and purchase protection and extended warranty perks. And actually, the Rogers World Elite MasterCard will be getting even better as of April 9th, 2024. In addition to the 1.5% cash back on all purchases as a baseline, if you're a Rogers, Fido, and Shaw customer, you'll actually get 2% cash back on Canadian dollar purchases instead. And what's more, if you hold the Rogers World Elite MasterCard, you'll get five complimentary Rome-like home days every year with an eligible Rogers mobile plan, which gives you even more value for holding the card, especially when you're traveling. This no-fee card, it's distinctive for its unique red color. It's called the Scotiabank American Express card, and it's the third best no-fee card that we would put on our overall list. But even more lucrative than the welcome bonus is the card's earning potential, which is very impressive for a no-fee card. You'll get three scene plus points per dollar spent at Empire grocery stores like Sobeys, IGA, Safeway, Fresh Co, and Foodland. Two scene plus points for every dollar spent on dining, groceries, movie theaters, gas, transit, and streaming services. And one scene plus point for every dollar spent on all other purchases. That's like getting a return of 3%, 2%, and 1% respectively on those categories on your purchases, which for a no fee card is very, very good. In fact, it's pretty rare that we see elevated return rates of 2 or 3% on a no fee card. So that's why this Scotiabank American Express card is definitely worth paying attention to. Now what's more, Scene Plus is one of the most ubiquitous loyalty programs in all of Canada. They've got partnerships all over the place, from Sobeys grocery stores to Cineplex for movies to Swiss chalet restaurants to the possibility of using Scene Plus points to redeem against travel purchases at one cent per point on your credit card as well. 
They're definitely a program that's worth paying attention to and they're on the rise over the past few years. I personally love using C plus points to offset my sundry travel expenses when I'm flying around the world. Things like an attraction ticket here, an Airbnb there, a ferry ticket there. These are the things that you can put on your Scene Plus credit card, like the Scotiabank American Express card, and then offset them using your Scene Plus points after the fact, after you've charged the purchase to the card. It's definitely a program and a card that's convenient when it comes to redeeming for travel, but what it lacks is the ability to unlock aspirational travel experiences like first class flights and luxury hotels. And that's where the next card and the final card on our no fee list comes in. Now, before moving on to our number one recommendation, I do have one small request for you, which is if you've made it all the way to this far in the video, I just ask you to help us out and click the subscribe button down below. Subscribe to the Prince of Travel YouTube channel because we're so close to 100,000 subscribers on this channel and it would help us out a ton if you just click subscribe. And so that brings us to arguably the best no fee credit card in Canada that also happens to have no income requirement. This card serves as an introduction, an entry point into the most powerful points program in all of Canada with one-to-one -one transfer partners to a whole range of airline and hotel partners that can really supercharge your travel possibilities. Best of all, it has no annual fee and it's easy to get approved for. And the card I'm talking about is naturally the American Express green card. You'll get a welcome bonus of 10,000 membership rewards points upon spending $1,000 in the first three months. And after that, you'll earn a flat one membership rewards points for all your purchases. Now you might be thinking some of the other cards had 1.5% or 2% or 3% on some categories, so this one's just one point per dollar spent. What's so special about it? Well, that boils down to how powerful a membership rewards point is compared to the other points we're talking about. These are some of the cream of the crop points that you want to be collecting in Canada, and this is the best no-fee card to give you access. Now, before I show you why membership rewards points are so powerful, let me walk you through the process of signing up for the American Express green card. Simply head to the link in the description below. Remember, using our links helps to support the channel and then click the apply now button to submit your information. You'll be asked for your personal details, including your social insurance number. That is optional, but it does help them find your application better. And then once you've filled it out and hit submit, wait those agonizing 60 seconds or so. There's gonna be a credit check in the background, but you'll typically get your results pretty much instantaneously. And once you're approved and you receive the card in the mail in about a week's time, you can start earning membership rewards points on all your purchases just by using the green card. Don't forget, you start with that welcome bonus of 10,000 points upon spending $1,000 in three months. And then as you spend month to month, you'll continue earning membership rewards points that pools together. Eventually, let's say you spend around $45,000 on the card during the first year, you'll end up with a total of 55,000 points. And here's where the magic happens. You can transfer these 55,000 points at a one-to-one -one ratio over to Aeroplan, and that's where 55,000 points will actually get you a business class flight all the way to Asia. After all, one of Aeroplan's best sweet spots is to use 55,000 points for a business class flight from Vancouver or Calgary to Tokyo. This is one of the best deals you can get with Aeroplan. It's not necessarily easy to book because everybody else wants to book it as well. But if you're flexible, with your travel dates and you can plan out in advance, then it's definitely possible to snag that incredible sweet spot and get business class Trans-Pacific for only 55,000 points. Let's take another example though. Let's say you don't care too much about business class, you're happy flying economy, but when you're traveling, you wanna stay at a nice place. The points you earn on the Amex green card can help you do that as well. For example, if you're to take 50,000 membership rewards points that you earned in the first year and transfer them over to Marriott Bonvoy, that's a one to 1.2 ratio, which means you'll get a total of 60,000 Bonvoy points. And that'll already be enough for five nights at a luxury hotel like the JW Marriott Kuala Lumpur, which looks really nice or a whole series of other hotels around the world, or if you prefer to just ball out for a really nice hotel, even if it's for fewer nights, you can get one night at a top tier hotel in a major city like London or New York or Singapore or Tokyo. So really, no matter what your travel style is, the points are yours to spend. And the message I wanna drive home here is that just because a card doesn't have an annual fee, it's one of the more lower end cards doesn't mean that it can't be insanely powerful. If you pick the Amex green card and spend on it consistently, then you'll eventually get to a point where you've earned enough points that you can unlock a very special travel experience thanks to the power of American Express membership rewards. The thing is though, it does take a little while to progress along that journey before you unlock that win at the end. There are quite a few nuances to pick up along the way and it does take time. So you wanna watch this complete definitive guide we've made to collecting points and traveling the world by maximizing the power of points. We made this for the start of the year to give you the full guide for 2024. Definitely check it out because we've only barely scratched the surface in this video. 